I just tell y'all the way it performs. I just tell you if it's gonna be useful to you. Hey, welcome to Beauty by the Bee. I am Bee. Today I'm gonna be reviewing the newest palette collaboration between Anastasia Beverly Hills and Am Breezy. If you're new to my channel, I pick one palette a month and it's the only thing that touches me all month. So I can give you a very in-depth, very thorough review of what I really think. Because with one look, how can you know? I can't just show you one eye look and be like, yeah, you should definitely spend $49 on this palette. No, no one knows after that. If you like a palette because you like a palette and you want to look at, go buy it. But if you want to know if it's good, check this out. If you know me, you know I've gotten pretty sick of the collaborations with Anastasia. They put out a lot of palettes at one time. They just kind of were going like balls to the wall for a minute. A few reasons that led me to the Anastasia palette was one, I wanted to start using a palette that had more browns. My last two had been like either super pastel or super jewel toned, which is not like very easy for your everyday person to wear to like the office. So I want to give you something that you could do a little more like muted looks, a little more drama. So that's reason one. The second reason I tried this palette is because Anastasia is such a supporter of makeup artists. Like they repost people all the time. I mean, they didn't repost me all month, but I'm not bitter. It's fine. I won't, it won't affect this review. So they definitely always support artists. If you tag them, they really like make it a point to give you recognition and show you appreciation. And after 29 days of wearing this palette from very dramatic looks to just more muted, I would say that I would rate this an A+. <laughs> immediate thoughts on this palette was obviously the color story. I really love neutral tones. And then it had just a couple colors to really bump it up for whenever you wanted to add like a little pizzazz. Pizzazz, pizzazz, mama, gotta give it to you. Pizzazz, pizzazz, pizzazz. And I really love that. To me, this is the most wearable palette. Say for instance, the Melt palette, which I absolutely live and die for. I wouldn't tell just anybody to buy that. I would really have to investigate and be like, why do you want this? Like, what's your occasion? Are you gonna wear this every day? Because if they're looking for something to wear every day, there's nothing in there for your like average person to wear every day. This one, your average person can wear it. It's definitely worth the $49 price point because there's so much you can do with it. Almost all of the 16 colors are extremely wearable. They're things that you can do every day and create so many different looks with that are very neutral, very muted, and then add one more color on top if you're gonna go out or just darken it a little bit if you have an event going on. Very easy to wear. The formula of this palette, perfection blends beautifully so many transition colors i just love the way that it just makes sense like i'm very much uh like more transition color less blending so like if i ever want to get here i'm gonna go like bam 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 before i would ever touch the black like i need to have something or i mean some days i might go bam and then build it down and like blend it out that way but i just love when there's so much to just get that seamless blend. I'm gonna swatch a couple of them and just show you the different textures from the formulas. So you can just see how beautiful all of those look. They're so creamy. I didn't get a lot of fallout. It wasn't an issue that I had and I usually do my eyes last because it's just easy for me. Formula, perfect. Color story, perfect. This is a palette I would really recommend to anybody because this is something that you can wear again and again and again. It's something, if I'm going to an event, I'm going away for a week, I would grab this palette and take it and feel like there's so much I can do with it. And that's what I think that I really try to focus on when I'm looking for a palette because I don't want something that is just something I can only wear once. It's just not practical. For people who love makeup and love art, like yes, I'm gonna use that over and over again, but are you buying a $50 palette every week? Why would you be? You need something that's cost effective, and I think with that, you have this one. This is the best formula I think they've ever used. I don't know if they changed anything, but there's no chalkiness in the mattes. They are just smooth like butter, it's the best formula I've seen from Anastasia Beverly Hills, like by far. If something is new, I'm not an ingredient person, so I don't really know. I just tell y'all the way it performs. I just tell you if it's gonna be useful to you, and I think this one will be. So that's all I can really say about this palette. It's just good. It's just easy. I didn't look at it and think like, oh, yeah. 
<laughs> you know, like it, it's reinventing the wheel. It's not, but it's doing something and it's doing it extremely well. If you enjoyed this video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up, subscribe, hit the bell so you know when I bring you more and check out the description below if you want to see some tutorials on me using this palette.